And five, four, three. Welcome to Peacekeeper Reaction. My name is Nathan. Thank you so much for joining us today, you guys. It's a very special episode. Uh, I'm very excited because I get to eat sweets. <laughs> <laughs> so that's exciting for me. So as you know, uh, we've been diving heavy into the Japanese uh, metal um, this past month, I guess, on the channel. We've been loving Bandmaids, Hanabi-A, uh, Love Bites, um, Asterism, um, lots of uh, baby metal, obviously. There's lots of amazing heavy metal coming out of Japan. So when I get deep into a uh, destination of a country like Japan and Finland, you know, I have my salmiaki vodka here sitting next to me. I make it nonstop. I always have a batch of salmiaki vodka. Uh, if you come to my house, you're going to get salmiaki vodka. But are you going to get one of these treats? These Japanese treats. Okay, so long story short, um, I asked on our on our previous videos for for the destination Japan. If anyone lived in Japan, could you send me some candy or something so I can try it on the show? No one took me up on that. Uh, so uh, here in Calgary, where I live, uh, we have a um, a Walmart that has an international aisle. So they have lots of East Indian and Chinese food stuff. Soy sauce <laughs> is in there. Wasabi, you can get it there. Uh, I eat a lot of wasabi myself. I love it. It's so delicious. Um, uh, then I finally noticed there was Japanese treats. There was only three different kinds. So I picked them up and I thought we'd try them out together on the show, especially this Kit Kat, green Kit Kat. Look at that. That looks uh, weird. So uh, we're going to eat some sweets and then we're going to listen to some Japanese metal today. So how does that sound? Sounds pretty good if you ask me. All right, so let's dive in. Kit Kat, the Canadian Kit Kat is probably one of my favorite uh, chocolate bars. So let's see what this is all about. All right, so they're individually wrapped and it has a little picture of a T and then it says something. Uh, side tangent, I've been watching, or I just finished watching a Japanese television series called The Days about, uh, the near, I guess near meltdown of the, uh, what was it, uh, Fukushima Daiichi, um, uh, power plant. It's a very intense series. I watched it all in one day. I thought it was very well acted. Um, and it was uh, uh, such an interesting, like I watched that Chernobyl series that came out last year on HBO. And that's fascinating to me. So this was really got in the weeds of what happened. Uh, it's, it's brilliant. So I thought uh, I'd say that anyways. So I'm going to open it up here. And yes, I see a green Kit Kat. So that's a bit cool. So it reminds me of weed and I smoke weed. Uh, so look at that, hey, interesting. Wow, it's so weird seeing something that I've seen millions of times, but that's slightly different. Hmm, interesting. Let's have a bite, shall we? Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. <laughs> Tastes great. Mm. So I'm guessing that little drink on the front is green tea, right? Green tea is big in... Asian culture, Japanese culture, I guess, Chinese culture, everyone has green tea. I love green tea. So I'm guessing that was a green tea Kit Kat. Delicious. Love it. All right. What's next? Uh, we're going to have some peach gummy candy. Uh, fruity and soft, it says. So I'm very excited. Let's check out this. Let's check this out. This is so great. <laughs> All right. They're individually wrapped. Kind of look like those mints you get from a restaurant, you know? So I'm going to open it up. Smell it. Oh, it smells very yummy. It smells like a real fruit. You know those candies, real fruit or real juice? 
Mmm, my god. It's spongy. Look at it. It's spongy. Eh? What do you guys think? Oh. Kind of looks like a booby. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. Sorry, I apologize for that part. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pop it in the old mouth hole. Very soft. I'm gonna bite into it. Mmm. Wow. These are amazing. I'm gonna have another one. Oh, let's pull it open. Yeah, look at that. What's that? Squishy. All right, yummy, yummy. I love that they're individually wrapped too. There's nothing worse than like a bunch of people's fingers touching shit. Anyways, our last and final candy is called uh, Fruits Mix Gummy Candy. So uh, it looks like this is similar to those that we just had, but maybe different flavors. But uh, let's have a look here. I'm gonna, okay, wow, there's different colors. There's uh, kind of a purple and a green and a red, pink. Okay, pink, is that it? Yeah, there's three colors. Interesting, hey? What one shall I have first, I wonder? Well, I'll answer myself. I'm gonna try a green. And this is Muscat gummy candy, Muscat. That's kind of cool. What's that? Oh, very strong in odor, this is. Very soft. Oh, this feels different. Oh, it's like melting. Mmm. Mmm. It's a very soft. Like, it almost came apart in my fingers. Oh, try that. Look at that. Cool. Mmm. We'll try this last flavor. These are fucking delicious. Wow, it's kind of similar to the last one. Wow, very cool. Mmm, yum, yum, in the tum-tum. So, yeah, so what are those? Are those some pretty uh, vanilla-flavored candies from Japan? I noticed they also had some... Um, what do you call it? Seaweed treats as well. So maybe I'll try that next time I'm at the old Walmart. Um, but if you guys have something more Japanese, more authentic that you want to send me, let me know. I'll give you my home address. And uh, now we're going to listen to some Japanese metal. So stay on board for that. For Peacekeeper, I'm Nathan. Play safe. I can put my arm back on. <laughs>